peachydragon.com. Happy creative stuff. Hey, and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Creative Stuff. This is another video about the 3D Powerpuff Girl animation that I did. Here's a little taste of what we ended up with. the last of the finishing touches if we had some real talent we could raise money but we don't okay so in i had all the videos about how to make that the tutorials i'm uploading them as we speak from week to week from time to time but no matter who you are and what you're doing you're going to go through troubleshooting so let me look at some of the still images that some of them are quite funny some of the things the stages we went through developing this so here's the very first render i did which is not very impressive and then as soon as you let me just as soon as you move on to one of our final renders you can see the huge difference in lighting there here i was testing out the arms you can see the arm on the, the right her left arm on our right is slightly pudgy the hand has a strange shape and there's a mistake in the mouth here but we're going to look at that later so Here's an initial Blossom render I did, I mean, uh, not Blossom, what's her name? Bubbles, just for fun. And the mapping isn't done here, her hair isn't correct, the eye color is wrong, but okay. Here we go. So here's one of the problems I had. When we used the displacement map for the mouth, we had this black line going down the side um, over there. So we fixed that by putting in a different, by one pixel layer that would displace that. I'll show you an example now. Another issue I had here is that the eyes were displacing inside the black lines. So you can see that very first line there has the same texture, which looks very unrealistic with the pupil going across it. Let's continue. Here you can see I put in a black pixel around the edge of the mouth and that didn't work because it, it's too extreme. Um, but I did change where the displacement is. So now you can see it displaces around the edge, which is slightly more pleasing. Here you go, I added some um, human flesh skin color there to make it a little bit less noticeable still happy with that this is what happens when you mix up your displacement map with your diffuse map it's an absolutely interesting result not what you would want to do but it's inverted everything it's just fun to look at okay so here we go I didn't have as big a problem with the lines in the mouth here so I didn't change it but I was just looking at how the reflection maps and everything come together um, here I had an issue with the tongue, how the displacement map pushes the red in, and I did fix that. I'll show you in two images from now. So this is a decent render, I think. There you can see where we fix the tongue. We put in one pixel of dark red around the edge, so the um, displacement map wouldn't map that red all along the path. Here you can see some of the early tests with lower quality displacement for the eyes. It really looks a bit horrible and drastic, but we're still working on it and here the problem was that it was pushing the whole head out as well like here is the head normal size with no displacement and there it was enlarged and pushed out so now we I looked at ways to fix this first here's just the reflection maps and you can see there are some clear problems here with Claire and that reflection is going over her face even and this one is even funnier it looks like she's got I don't know, breasts on her eyes maybe, but you can see how strange the displacement around the edges were. My main issue here is I was trying to figure out how to displace shapes inwards and outwards at the same time. Um, here I don't think I've got any displacement, we're just working on, on the reflections. Here I was using the displacement modifier, which only uses the information in your polygons that are already there. And the other displacements were done with mental rays, um, material displacements. And in those cases with the mapping, mental ray will subdivide the object more. So it makes it much smoother. You can see this looks a bit rough. I was trying to look for combinations of the two and see how I could solve my problem. This one I didn't even finish rendering. You can see the eyes also bulging out in a strange way. This one's a little bit more decent, but the lines, uh, the shape of the eye was wrong. So we fixed that later on. There we go, this one's quite decent. I don't think there's any displacement, but you can see the, the glare is, works quite nicely there. So maybe a little bit too shiny. This was the first displacement test for the mouth. It's clearly not, doesn't look very good, but you know, we had to taste somehow. There we go, normal render. 
here you can see that's just the general render we used for lighting quite happy with that quite happy with this one here you can see the some of the early O mouths I put a black line around the edge so that it would just fill it in because on the cartoon technically you'd have a black line all the way around let's look there's the mouth with the problem still there's the black line the, when you put the black line around the edge you can't actually see it this place but I'm happy enough with that I don't think there are any more major problems let's just go through them and see what we find it's quite oh here we go the displacements of the eye was on the inside so we fix that later just did some more tests here we go there it's fixed we've got the red line I think is mostly fixed with this tongue and that was the last one so you see it doesn't matter who you are you might have issues you always need to work on them you always need to troubleshoot please check out the rest of the tutorial videos if you found this video useful or liked it please subscribe to us please like below subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell us what you think we have two facebook pages you can follow we have a twitter we have an instagram we have the youtube channel and we have two traditional websites if that's the kind of thing you're going for this video is awesome peachydragon.com Happy creative stuff.